A very good evening and welcome to Capital TV News. My name is Suleiman Munyu and I'll be bringing you the news that has made the headlines today. To start us off, Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet has this afternoon said that he's going to lay a probe into the accident in Limuru that is allegedly have said to have involved a pastor. Boynet says following public outcry, he has dispatched a team of senior officers to the scene of the accident to verify the information provided to him by the Tigoni police. Boynet says according to the information provided to him by the Tigoni police, the vehicle was being driven by a one Simon Courier who was taken to court yesterday but not charged. According to witness reports, a pastor and not courier was driving the vehicle at a high speed on the wrong side of the road when he hit a man and his wife who later died. It is also alleged that the pastor fled the scene of the accident and the Range Rover that he was driving was uninsured. In other news, Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet was to visit the troubled Kehomuri land buying firm in Moranga where more than 10 directors have died in less than a year. Boynet and CID Director Degwa Muhoro to accompany Acting Land Secretary Fred Matiangi following Wednesday's killing of two more directors who were executed while headed to a meeting. Several other directors have been kidnapped before being dumped in far-flung areas, while others have been killed in the process, pointing to a wide network of criminals who are yet to be arrested. Police have linked the killings to persistent disagreements amongst directors of the more than 6,000 acres of land. In matter states, Muslim leaders called upon the United States to make their financial support in the fight against terrorism conditional to the adherence to human rights. The leaders, who include the Vice Chairman of the National Muslim Leaders Forum, al Haji Yuruf Murigu, say crackdowns such as those witnessed in Isili should now be a matter of the past. The leaders, who also included the Executive Director of the Muslim Human Rights Forum, Alamin Kimathi, say the government should heed US President Barack Obama's advice and engage the Muslim community in an effort to prevent radicalization of Muslim youth. And we are all now appealing that uh, this be uh, looked at in even in the wake of uh, President Obama's recent engagement with, with Kenya, because this is part of the violations that we're talking about, that are hardening or hardened attitudes of so many of the youths. This is one instance that everybody points out at the illegalities and uh, it's fodder for recruitment by terrorists. And in business, Kenya Airways have posted a net loss of 25.7 billion in its 2015 full year results from a net loss of 3.3 billion in 2014. This is a 661% drop. The management attributed the loss to volatility of the exchange rates, intense competition, especially from Middle East carriers, as well as terrorism that has brought about travel advisories. Other factors that led to the loss include fluctuation of oil prices and the international regulatory environment. This comes as the airline received 4.2 billion shillings from the national government as a bailout plan. Clearly, the volatility of the exchange rate in Kenya is evident. We've seen a slide in the exchange rate, and not only in Kenya, but in quite a number of the regions that we're operating in, in India, in South Africa, in Europe, in the UK, and the, the greater Euro region, in West Africa, particularly for the currencies that are pegged to the Euro. We see a very strong intensity, of course, in competition, particularly from the Middle East carriers. Of course, it's not lost on all of you that we have seen the impact of terrorism and travel advisories on, uh, on Kenya and the wider region. And finally in sports, Deputy President William Ruto has directed the Ministry of Sport to take urgent steps to return football to its glory days. Ruto said the current situation was pathetic and pitiable and the government must take measures. He said organizations responsible for running football in Kenya must be professional. The deputy president was speaking at Makadara constituency when he launched the Camp Toyoyo Stadium in Jericho, Nairobi. The stadium was constructed by the Constituency Development Fund. And that has been your Capital Online TV News. My name is Suleiman Munyo. To find out more on these news stories, what you can do is check out our Capital FM YouTube page, Capital FM Kenya, where you can find more on these stories.